Hey y'all, it's your girl Rosemary again, and it's time for me to eat more spicy food. Back at it again. And what I've got here today is some sauce from Pucker Butt Farms, who is the breeder that owns the trademark to the Carolina Reaper pepper, which coincidentally is the main ingredient of this sauce. If you read the ingredient label here, the ingredients are reaper peppers, distilled vinegar, and reaper pepper powder. On the website, they claim that this sauce is 98% Carolina Reaper by volume. And that seems pretty substantial. So, uh, since this is not a pepper, it's going to be harder to figure out how much of it is a fair amount to consume. So I brought a measuring spoon. This is one eighth of a teaspoon. Not to jump the horse, uh, put the cart before the horse, I mean, but this is a really fucking large quantity of this sauce. I have tried it before. And I mentioned the quantity in specific for a reason that will be important after this video is uh, in its denouement, so to speak. Uh, for my own purposes, I also brought some lime wedges because I find those help me more than milk. All right, let me just get this in this measuring spoon. It's, it's hard. This pep this uh, sauce, because it's 98% pepper, it's very chunky, not very easy to pour. So let me just get this in here. All right, that looks good. I'm not gonna touch this with my hands. Never, ever, ever. That is a terrible idea. Okay. So this is one eighth of a teaspoon of 98% by volume Carolina Reaper pepper. And I'm going to consume this right now for your entertainment. I'm already sweating. Coating my tongue and swallowing. Oh, I forgot to mention, Carolina Reaper Pepper is measuring a Scoville rating of about 1.5 million. For reference, a habanero pepper is about 50,000, and a jalapeno pepper is below 10,000. It is a linear scale. For a while, the Carolina Reaper was the hottest edible pepper safe for human consumption. It's since been supplanted, but it remains pretty much a, a holy grail, so to speak. My teeth are beginning to chatter, which is unusual. <clears throat> My lips are quivering. An interesting side effect of eating very hot food <clears throat> is that your saliva has a much higher mucus content for some reason. Are my glasses fogging up? 
My vision is taking a strange turn. Oh, I should also mention that the Thai chili peppers I ate last time measured in at about 100,000 Scoville units. So this is about 15 times that. My stomach is making some strange noises. I'm beginning to sweat slightly. From my forehead, primarily. But actually, I'm fairly surprised. <clears throat> Maybe it's the mindset I'm in currently, but this isn't as bad as I was expecting. It is a very endurant, durable hotness, though it lasts for a while. The heat is probably going to stick with me even after I stop recording. Not at intolerable levels, obviously, but quite substantial. Now I'd say I'm on the descent <clears throat> of this, and just for fun, I'm going to treat myself to one of these lime wedges, because I'm kind of addicted to citrus fruit. Tasty. Well, I guess I'll put the cap on this video, wink, <clears throat> I expected this to be hotter. Maybe I'll do another version of this video where I consume a larger volume. However, one thing will be certain. I mentioned the quantity in teaspoons for an important reason. This won't show up on camera, but the recommended serving size for this sauce is one teaspoon. <clears throat> and for reference, a comparison, here is one eighth of a teaspoon. Here is one teaspoon. I can't explain how large this is when you are looking at it through my eyes, looking at this bottle of sauce. It's tremendous. I can't imagine ever eating that much in one sitting. It's just impractical. You can't put it on food. You're not going to even taste anything. It's going to ruin the experience with the food for you. <clears throat> Ain't that just the way? <clears throat> 